Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another Diplomacy Openings video. We're looking at the same game as we were for the Turkish video. And we're going to look at it from Austria's point of view now and we're going to continue with the rest of the great powers as well. So same game, just looking at 1901 and thoughts heading towards 1902 from each power's perspective. Right, so this, as you probably saw in the Turkish video, this was a little bit of an interesting, uh, a few unorthodox, let's say, unusual moves from around the board. Um, we can see uh, right away that um, probably Russia is, is playing one of the most non-standard openings, um, putting the army in Livonia with thoughts uh, well, really, it's a flexible opening, but it's very non-committal, and it's hard to figure out uh, what they want to do with that opening. Uh, certainly, from Oscar's point of view, I'm thrilled with this opening because um, not only have I actually gained Galicia, but Italy hasn't hasn't uh, they've kind of kept their bargain with me and uh, not moved into Tyrolia. Um, you know, they're in Apulia, they're in Ionian. I feel really, really safe and comfortable here. Turkey plays a standard opening. So I have a lot of options. In the West, the only thing that I, I see is that, um, is that England can choose to convoy with either um, fleet if it so chooses. Um, and really, uh, you know, France could get three builds here. And Germany is playing a version of Richard Sharp's Anschluss, um, getting the army in Munich. Uh, although that will mean he can't guarantee Holland if, if England doesn't want to mess with him. So uh, that's what I'm seeing as Austria. But otherwise, from my immediate point of view, I'm feeling really good about this situation. And I have some, some bargaining chips. And I actually go ahead and use the the position to suggest something to to Italy and that is that um, well first of all in the negotiation phase I I I figured out that he didn't want to go he didn't want to convoy he wanted to take um, he wanted to take Tunis with the fleet so I I'm not sure at this point if he wants to work with me, but he he certainly is giving me a few options, and I want to see what he does with his armies anyway. He you know he may end up he may end up convoying anyway, but more likely he's concerned seeing that I have a pretty good opening um, position, a really comfortable opening um, with Austria. You know, there's no there's no Galician Russian army. Um, I'm comfortably going to be able to take Greece if I want to. And so this is the point where from a negotiation standpoint, I can make that pitch and say, Hey, Hey, let, let's, let's, let's try something here. Let's see if, if we can put you into Tunis with, um, eyes to go into the Western Mediterranean in spring. Oh, two, I'll be an Ionian. That'll help box in Turkey. Of course, I'll sacrifice a build that I otherwise wouldn't have gotten. Uh, but as you see, what happens is I am able to build one. Turkey is going to build one. That looks like it's going to be a fleet in Smyrna. Italy is going to build one. And Russia, actually, because they were were playing it a little bit tricky is not going to build at all um and so probably russia had asked for support into romania from me uh and i decided not to give it feeling good enough about my relationship with italy uh as you can see i, I bounced him in romania um so that that may that may tick him off, but to be honest, like I did him a favor also by not uh, making a play for Warsaw, given where I was. Um, 
And really, it shows the the weakness of the Livonian opening. I mean, certainly it has the flexibility, but is that really is it really my issue that he he made that opening? Um, I would argue it's not entirely my my issue, even though it's a friendly opening uh, towards me. And from from this position, we see Bulgaria and Romania open coming for spring of 02. Um, I have the Ionian fleet and probably I want to suggest to Italy that we uh, that we slide his build of, of fleet Naples into the Ionian and I'll make a play at um, well I mean <laughs> let's be honest I should probably just be taking Greece immediately um, since that's unguarded from Turkey. And so that was a, a downside of his play to, to try to sneak um, to try to sneak into to Greece there. He probably suspected that um, I might have to defend Trieste from Albania, um, probably misjudging the, the, the negotiations between myself and Italy um, as Austria. And, and actually making that play as he did um, to to Greece. Because what he's done is he's split his armies, and he's going to be unable to defend um, Greece here in the spring. Now, he he will be able to, to back up into uh, Bulgaria or retreat to Albania. Um, of course, I do have um, the build... Uh, I do have a, a build coming here in Budapest, Vienna, or Trieste. Um, so I'm gonna have to to make a, a judgment call as I make as I place that build on where where I feel my relationship is with Italy first and foremost. And uh, from there, like I'm I'm actually really flexible as Austria here, right? Because I'm adjacent both of the both of the neutrals. Um, it looks like I don't have any enemies so far, and I, I weirdly have the Ionian. So a lot of options uh, in the near term, but certainly Ionian can come into Greece. Um, depending on what Italy wants to do, we we could even slide Serbia into Greece and follow in from from Budapest. Maybe I come down from Galicia and patch things up with Russia. And let him uh, maybe let him in on the game against Turkey, for example. Um, alternatively, I could work with 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 Turkey against against Russia potentially. Um, it's unclear how it's going to shake out in the north for for Russia. He's he seems to have uh, just set himself up against Germany and probably um, has. No, no ties with Germany, but Germany is going to build two here, um, and I'm probably relying on my relationship if I'm Russia with with England, seeing as I was able to to get England that second build. So, how will Germany play this? Does he want to get Denmark back? Um, that's yet to be determined. I'm going to discuss that though in upcoming videos. But in terms of Austria's play here, it does look a little. Uh, uh, a little weird, but I'm overall feeling good because I'm about to put at least one army down here and uh, look to to take a fifth center this coming year. But at least I don't look too scary, and at least I don't have any enemies just as of yet. So with that, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks again for checking out my Diplomacy Openings videos. I'll see you soon.